Okay, okay, so let's talk a bit about everyone's favorite punk rock girl, Kyoka Jiro. Uh, now, first off, before we actually get into her earphone jack quirk and how it works, one uh, of my favorite things about her character is actually the fact that her hair shine is drawn similarly to the waves of an electrocardiogram, which is obviously a reference to how she uses um, her quirk, which I'm gonna talk about. But I always found that interesting and I only noticed it after it was uh, pointed out to me, so that's pretty cool. Now her name contains the kanji for ear, reverberation, and incense. As for her earphone jack quirk, it's honestly one of my favorite quirks because it shows that even something as simple as her quirk can become very devastating with the right equipment. But regardless, so her quirk allows her to plug the jacks that hang from her earlobes into various things to channel the sound of her heartbeat into them, and these vibrations cause havoc inside of the plugged objects, whatever that may be. She can also use her uh, earphone jacks to catch sounds, giving her essentially the ability to hear uh, across even like extremely like thick walls, and they can stretch up to 6 meters. The, the sound radius is approximately 12 meters. And they are even strong, like they're not really weak things, they are uh, able to shatter rocks, which I find kind of interesting. I mean, they're pretty powerful for some very simple things, I mean, they're just earphones, but hey, there we go. Now, the way she uses them is incredibly interesting because her power lies in her, uh, well, ability to plug that into uh, different parts of her costume. Like, for example, she has a move called Heartbeat Fuzz, where she plugs her jacks into the amplifiers on her forearms, and then she then slams the amplifiers onto the floor and channels an incredibly powerful heartbeat through them that can even shatter the ground. It's a pretty powerful move. Another variation of this, which she actually used first when the villains attacked uh, UA, was that she plugged her earphone jack into the amplifier on her legs and used it that way, more so as a wave. Speaking of her quirk, she actually inherited from her mother, because from what we know, her father is quirkless, or at the very least has a quirk that hasn't been revealed yet, since we know her father, he's been introduced into the story proper when All Might and uh, my boy, Eraser Head went to her house to talk to her parents, so that she'll be able to come to the campus and live there. And uh, he hasn't displayed any quirk whatsoever, however, uh, Jiro's mom, we actually see her, the, you know, the um, earphone jack quirk in her character design so that's where she got that from but on a side note something that i find you know, pretty cool about her parents is that her dad fell in love with her mom because of music they're both um, musicians and that's their passion and so they wanted their, their daughter to follow her own dreams and that's why they support her in whatever way they can into her becoming a hero and following her dreams. And also because of her parents' love for music, she also plays a couple of instruments, she obviously loves rock, and that's pretty cool. Another thing which I kind of find sort of odd, uh, and I'm referencing this scene where Minata found a hole in the boy's locker room, and that let him see into the girl's locker room, and before he actually peeped like a fucking retard. He started to compliment the girl's body in a very creepy way. However, just as he's about to look, Kyoka <laughs> sends her earphone jack through the hole and fucks up Minata's left eye. I mean, if this were real life, his left eye would have been fucked completely. However, this kind of shows that she has some uh, self-confidence issues when it comes to her body and the development of her body, because she was the only one that Minata didn't... Ah, uh, fucking Minata. She was the only one that Minata didn't um, talk about. Also, she was kind of semi-jealous, once again during the uh, villain attack, when Momo used her quirk, and because of that her clothes got torn off, and she saw how big Momo's tits are, and she was like, damn. So she was a bit jealous because of that. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much uh, it uh, about her quirk and her personality. And, well, this will pretty much conclude this video. So if you have not done so already, then please subscribe, leave a like, and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. So have a great day or a great night, depending on where you are. And bye. The fuck, bye.